Hey there everybody, Gideon's Tactical here doing a review for you of this particular product that I'm very impressed with, the Drago Hiker Shoulder Bag. Uh, and uh, we're just going to kind of go through a couple specs here and I'll just give you my overall uh, opinion of it. Now this is a pretty large shoulder, over the shoulder bag, you know, kind of you carry it like a sling. I've um, got a nice shoulder strap. Um, <clears throat> the first thing you notice as soon as you grab it is that it's made out of 1,000 denier uh, nylon, which is pretty heavy duty. It's more heavy duty than like a lot of Condor tactical um, and maybe like Voodoo tactical stuff. And it's much up, it's higher up on the scale. And so it's going to be more rugged and hold up over a long, longer period of time without any tears and stuff. The downside is it's kind of heavy. Right off the bat, you feel that it's pretty stiff material and it's pretty heavy material. So, I mean, good pluses and minuses to that. Now, this is very similar to like a Maxpedition um, Fat Boy. Um, or EDC Jumbo, um, you know, or like a, an EDC bag by Condor. It's very similar to that. So let's just kind of look at it right here. Um, it's very tall uh, off the bat. You know, it's like a, almost uh, a 12 inches tall. Um, has the very strong clip right here. Clips off and the whole lid pops open. This is one of the first thing you notice different about some other products is um, it has a big drop pocket and some other front pockets. So this little pocket right here um, just has an, a zipper. <clears throat> little pocket in there you know I got like some wet ones in there you can get maybe like your cell phone if you want it or your wallet or something like that and uh, that's the very first pocket it runs really nice the zipper runs really nice and it has paracord right there and uh, it's just a very strong zipper that doesn't that doesn't catch and runs very well not YKK but a good zipper um, now the next one you open that up you can see in here I got you know like a little medical kit uh, we got just one pocket though, one little pocket and then um, a keychain holder, clip kind of holder. Um, that's what's inside there. Just use my little flashlight here to kind of shine it. They don't put any like magazine, um, a, uh, what's it called, elastic bands they could hold like gun magazines or something like some of the other products. I wish that they had put something on this back side. Um, it's just a mesh pocket right there. But uh, I mean overall not bad, but I just would have liked to see maybe some elastic bands like some of the other um, companies do. So, but that's a pretty big pocket. Uh, you can definitely get a lot of stuff in that that one. Um, and then to the main pocket here. This is the main pocket, and as you can see, I mean, I got a really large, um, you know, uh, book right here. I have my Kindle Fire in here, um, and you can get a lot of stuff, you know, in in this particular bag. Uh, without any problem. And the cool thing is that it has this nice rain guard that can fold out. And you, I mean, look at how big that is and how high that'll go um, to really protect against the elements, you know, and different things like that. Um, and inside here, if you can go ahead and take a look inside here, there's um, a, a nice mesh um, pocket on one side and then um, a, a solid pocket on the other right in there so you can fit a lot of different stuff in those two pockets as well as this and what's nice about like some of the other bags they have zippers right here that close this pocket it's this flap and you can really get some stuff in there some tall books you know maybe I don't know if a Kindle I mean uh, an iPad would fit in there it might but definitely larger size books notepads um, you know things like that can definitely fit in there and is great for a hike or other things like that um, and you just clip it on here and there's a nice, there's a lot of uh, length here on that nylon so the, a strap so that you can really make it tall if you need to and keep the elements out. Um, on the front right here, we have uh, Velcro, you can put patches and different stuff like that. You have another zipper pocket that um, is actually pretty large uh, and you can get, you know, I, ha I put like my receipts and stuff in there, but you could definitely get like an iPhone or a wallet in there as well, different things like that. Um, in that outer pocket, then what's nice is on top, you have this uh, kind of, this, I'd, I'd say it would fit magazines great. It has another Velcro strip up here for other patches and different things. But, um, you know, you can fit a lot of stuff in there. I just have some pens, but like my Leatherman Wave will fit in there. A large size pocket knife. Probably, I'd say two fully sized gun magazines would fit in there as well. Um, but a lot of different stuff can fit on top in that particular pocket. Uh, on the side, we have a, a Nalgene um, pocket, like water bottle pocket. Now, this is a 16 ounce in here. A 32 ounce Nalgene will fit in this pocket. It's just very tight and pretty stiff. It won't pull in on the seams, but it, but it, I mean, it's snug in there. And it has this little tightener, uh, paracord tightener, so you can cinch it down if you want. And this Velcro latch that just keeps the water bottle from falling out when you're, uh, you know, running or you know, you're doing a lot of aggressive hiking. And if you don't want that there, because you're going to be grabbing your water bottle a lot, you can just Velcro it up to the top right there, and then the water bottle just slides right out, no problem. So uh, that's just a nice little uh, feature there, and I, I like that it's already attached to the pack itself. 
Uh, on the other side, right here, we have two things which I really love. We got this little pocket with some molly, so you can molly some small things, not a lot. You're not going to molly a lot of stuff to this, maybe a knife if you wanted to. Um, that's about it that you're going to molly to this little part right here. But dual running zipper um, right here into a nice little pocket with an extra sleeve. Um, you know, I just got like some Tide and, and a lighter. I don't smoke, but I mean, it's just always good to have a lighter in there. But uh, it also has another little sleeve, so you could fit another pocket knife if you wanted to, hold like two or three gun magazines. You know, a lot of other things like that will fit inside this pocket. I, I would say a, an iPhone would definitely fit in there as well. Walkie-talkie, you know, some other things like that, a GPS, um, things like that will fit in this pocket. And then one of the best things that I've never seen on another pack up uh, so far is that they designed this with a knife sleeve. If you can see right here, I have a Cold Steel Pendleton fixed blade. I mean, that's a pretty large, that's like an eight inch fixed blade that'll slide right into that pocket right there. And that's just a really cool added feature that they have so you can dump you know, a really nice big fixed blade. And this is wide, I mean, look at how wide this is, um, that you can fit a fixed blade into this particular pocket and uh, you know you don't have to try and figure out how to molly it somewhere or stick it in a pocket. You know it's just right there, ready to be accessible. Only downside is there is no like attachment in there to attach the sheath to, so you just can pull the blade out. And when you pull it, the whole sheath, everything's gonna come out, and it's just loose in there. There's no attachment ability inside this pocket, um, so that's the only drawback. If they had had just like a little pocket in there to put like a clip or something, so you could just pull the knife out without the sheath, that would have been a, a plus. But that's still a really nice added feature. Coming to the home stretch now, um, you got another big pocket right here. This is like the concealed carry pocket. Um, Velcro on one side, and you can get a, uh, a medium-sized pistol in there. Definitely concealed carry type of pistol um, will fit inside that, or you know, a book, or just whatever else you would want to put in there. And that slides nice and tight together. You got a nice um, uh, nylon handle right here to hold the whole pack if you're just carrying it from your car to your house or something like that, and you don't have enough room or you got a backpack on. That's nice. Uh, you got molly, two stages of molly right here, so you can molly a knife there if you wanted to or other little tiny packs. Another set of molly, um, nice uh, strap like I talked about with adjustable pad, um, that's a nice plus and you can move it all over the place. Um, this will go very large, so if you're a big guy this will fit you no problem, if you're small it will fit you. They have a, a really nice um, clip, steel clip right here um, that can you know attach carabiners and all sorts of stuff like that um, and, and does a really good job. Uh, you know, and it's nice and strong, nice steel clip on that side. Um, and then on the back, it does come with a belly strap. I removed it because it's pretty uncomfortable actually. Um, and uh, it has these two little loops right here that the belly strap ran through. Um, if you're not using the belly strap, and I'm using this as an EDC bag, I'm not going to go hiking necessarily with this. I have another bag that I do that for. Um, but uh, these straps don't necessarily work very well when, it, when it's on there if you're not going to use it. It's just uncomfortable. They flap around a lot. So I just took them off. But if you are using this as a hiker or as, you know, like you're definitely going to be doing maybe some running or something like that, uh, the belly strap does work well. I just removed it because it's just my EDC around town type of bag. So um, that's the overall uh, view of it. Again, this is the Drago Hiker. Um, if you're wondering what the difference between the Drago Hiker and the Drago Officer is, Drago Officer is, uh, the Officer does not have a water pouch. It just has another pocket on this side. It does not carry a water bottle pouch. That's really the only difference that I know of. Um, so overall impressions, I'm very impressed. I'm going to enjoy carrying this around. It's a little bit bigger than my Condor EDC bag that I was using for a while. The weight distribution is a little bit better. Uh, I like that also. Um, and the only downside I would say is that it's a little uncomfortable with the stiffness and I'm hoping it will kind of break in and wear in with time. But um, there are just a couple little spots like the clip kind of d digs into your side a little bit. Um, and, uh, you know, that can get a little uncomfortable. You know, if you're walking like four or five miles, it can kind of get a little irritating possibly. Um, but other than that, I mean, very good quality, very impressed. And I like the loadout of how you can carry things and the knife sheath holder and all those other things are really impressive to me in that it can carry very large items like a large size book or a Kindle Fire without any trouble. And you can really load this out if you need to. So um, hopefully this helps you guys out. Thanks for watching. Stay equipped, stay prepared, and I'll see you out there.